So let's talk a little bit about Git now and about Git repositories. So if we think about what a Git repository is, it's simply a directory tree that contains files and potentially subdirectories and files or directories within those. It contains the information about the history of all those files and directories. And it contains also a set of information that helps you navigate across different versions. So again, we can think about the evolution over time, um, but we can also think about different routes that you might take or different branches that different developers are taking. And a Git repository keeps track of all of those things. So why do we tell you to use Git? Um, there are lots of different um, version control systems out there. We expect that you'll have heard of Subversion or SVN, um, which is, is very popular, but we would say that Git is the, um, the strongest option in this day and age, and, and there are various reasons why we say that. So we think it's more useful for collaboration. It's distributed and fast and I'll tell you a bit more about what we mean by that in a minute. It's very well supported in terms of the tooling um, around, sort of ecosystem of tools around Git. And it has these free um, web services that provide online repositories and a whole heap of other tools and features. So you may have heard of GitHub and Bitbucket. We recommend GitHub. Um, you can use lots of different ones, but but in our webinar, we're going to just focus on the use of GitHub. So what do we mean by distributed? The key thing here is that every copy of a Git repository, be it on Richard's machine, Poppy's machine, on my machine, or up on GitHub, um, every single copy is a complete copy of the repository. So that's a copy of, of all the history and all the different commit points um, over time. So that actually, if my machine completely crashed and Richard's machine crashed, we could say that Poppy's version of the repository um, was the primary version and each of us could then clone a copy to our systems and work from that again. So that's what we mean by distributed. However, many people like to have a centralized server, like to say that there is a specific version that we call our, our central or, or default version of the repository. And typically, we use GitHub to do this. So GitHub is a web service running on the cloud, and many of us decide that that is where we keep the, the sort of pristine online version of our repository. And each of us can take a copy and work with it ourselves.